Got another one here with Brian Tyler Cohen. This one recommended by the anti-corporatist. AC, thank you. Uh, it's in regards to uh, a surprise update shaking the entire 2024 election. I haven't seen this yet, but oh boy, do I want to. Let's have a gander. Some breaking news here that promises to have huge implications for the November election. So there's a coalition of reproductive rights organizations in Arizona called Arizona for Abortion Access who've come out and announced that they have exceeded the signature threshold to put a constitutional amendment on abortion on the state's ballot in November. Okay, so we basically did go over this uh, with the uh, Mark Elias video. This one's quick, though. Let's just run through it. The organization claims that they've gathered over 500,000 petition signatures, far more than the 383,000 necessary to get the amendment on the ballot. And they still have three months to go until the July 3rd deadline. And they plan to continue collecting signatures until that very day, meaning even with invalidations, this amendment is all but certain to move forward. The news comes on the immediate heels of similar news out of Florida, where the state Supreme Court ruled that a constitutional amendment to codify abortion rights can appear on the November ballot. This news came at the same time that the state Supreme Court also ruled that Ron DeSantis' draconian six-week abortion ban can go into effect, which will all but eliminate abortion not only in Florida, but the entire southern United States. The problem for Florida Republicans is that abortion rights are extremely popular in the state, just as they are in the rest of the country. According to polling, nearly two-thirds of Floridians approve of abortion rights, including 53% of Republicans. Ooh, okay. Uh... Now, for those watching the live show, we talked about this uh, earlier, but it was more broad, and I do have something to say specifically about this. We'll get to it. I just want to uh, point out one thing. They're called abortion rights. Abortion rights, abortion rights. Uh, and, 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 you know, Cohen's correct to call them that here. I just want to draw attention to the second word in that phrase. Rights. Just make sure to stress to your uh, uh, Republican burdens. I don't want to call them uh, friends or family. If they're Republican, uh, the only thing I know for sure about them is they are a burden to society. So make sure to stress to those Republican burdens that you carry uh, that Republicans are for taking away people's rights. That's what they're for. Democrats, no matter what else you might think about them, they are for giving people rights, letting people make their own decisions with what happens to their own bodies. Meaning this is an issue that's going to turn out voters who oppose Republicans, and they're likely not going to be falling over themselves to reward Republicans at the ballot box at the same time they're showing up to rein them in. In fact, it's not just Florida and Arizona. Here's a map of the states where abortion measures are seeking ballot access. They include other key states like Nevada and Montana, where Democrats are defending yeah. must-win Senate seats. And you'll notice that the referendum is already approved in New York. And while you might think that that won't have a huge impact, given how blue New York is, remember that there are a raft of House seats that are up for grabs that state that unto themselves flip the House to Republicans control. If Democrats win just two of the toss-up seats in New York alone, which include New York's 4th, 17th, 19th, and 22nd congressional districts, then Hakeem Jeffries will be the next Speaker of the House. So clearly, turning out more voters by putting abortion rights directly onto the ballot is going to pay dividends, electorally speaking, in a hugely consequential state. And of course, Donald Trump knows full well the disastrous position that he's landed himself in, which is why the guy who will weigh in without hesitation on literally anything and everything said this today when asked about Florida's new six-week abortion ban. Mr. President, do you support the six-week abortion ban by the Florida Supreme Court? Oh, we'll be making a statement next week on abortion. And look, he can punt to next week all he wants. God knows we're still waiting on that health care plan that he promised would come in two weeks. Ha. But the fact is that we already know exactly where he stands on the issue of abortion and exactly who's responsible for it being banned. I got rid of Roe v. Wade. A lot of things were done with Roe by, by killing it. Supreme Court justices and the Supreme Court ruled to end the 
moral and constitutional atrocity known as Roe v. Wade. Very important. Uh, we did the Roe v. Wade thing, which have been, they've been trying to get it done. If it weren't for me with Roe v. Wade, you wouldn't even be talking about this. Getting rid of uh, Roe v. Wade was an incredible thing. I'm the one that got rid of Roe v. Wade. And what I did by oh, killing brutal. Roe v. Wade, which everyone said was impossible. For 54 years, they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated. And I did it. This Donald Trump answer on abortion, like that dog ain't gonna hunt, okay? He <laughs> is the person who put three justices on the Supreme Court who overturned Roe. He has bragged about it numerous times. You, you see, and we saw uh, in September when he was fumbling around and he continues to kind of fumble around. He obviously understands the political implications, but there He'll is no- say, we need to win elections. Yes, right. as, when talks there is no world where he is going to be able to weasel out of uh, his rhetoric. His rhetoric. Yeah, he's right. So that's Brian Tyler Cohen being a little more concise about uh, specifically abortion appearing on uh, the ballot. As I said, that's going to drive Democratic voters. And in addition with, uh, to the other thing we heard in the previous video, uh, Montana, just, uh, just uh, the Supreme Court in Montana just ruled that a whole bunch, sorry, that camera's flickering on me. I, you all right, buddy? All right. Uh, a whole bunch of uh, voter suppression laws that Republican had put in, uh, Republicans had put in place are uh, against their state constitution. So they're outskies. It means more people are going to be able to vote more ways. This bodes extraordinarily well for Democrats. Uh, what you can do about it is pretty simple. You can do this right here and now. Tell everybody who isn't following this particularly closely, that abortion will be on the ballot. Whether or not you can get an abortion, whether or not your daughter can, and yes, we're, we're all uh, uh, <laughs> insufferable lefties here, I feel the need to say it, uh, or your trans son, or, or your uh, aunt, or uh, uncle, or whoever the hell, if you have the ability to get pregnant, but you don't want to be pregnant, your control over your own body is on the ballot. Here's what I would recommend you do. Tap in to those, uh, if you have an anti-vax weirdo in your, uh, in your circles, as in somebody who is irrationally against vaccines. Uh, for the record, I don't even think it's inherently irrational to be skeptical, skeptical of uh, uh government mandated anything but if you have somebody that believes that the government is going to uh suddenly write a law that says everybody is required to have this that or the other thing take advantage of that say say the true uh, fact that the precedent is being set right now for the government to determine what you can or cannot do with your own body Make sure they know that the matter of abortion, even if you are a, a, a cis male who cannot have kids in any way, shape, or form, cannot get pregnant in any way, shape, or form, I should say, this will eventually affect you one way or another. Even if you're a cis male who is gay, you will never get anybody pregnant. You are only attracted to other cis males. This will still affect you. Because if we slip here, we fall far. If we say the government is allowed to determine what medical procedures we can and cannot get for ourselves, it will not be even a full lifetime before let's be honest, more Republicans, try to expand the government's powers there. Governments, uh, uh, Republicans claim to be against big government. They have demonstrated that is not true at all. They are for one thing and one thing only, and that's Republicans deciding for you how you get to live your life. 
So make it clear, this is an issue of principle. You can be personally 100% against getting an abortion, and yet you should still vote to protect people's ability to decide for themselves whether or not they will. That will drive out the vote. I recommend you do. And I recommend you take the opportunity, as, as you are doing this, to point out that the Democratic Party, even if you disagree with a whole lot of what they're about, they are the only party that is for you having the right to control your own body. You can pitch that in a lot of ways to a lot of people because it is a basic belief of almost everybody. Almost everybody, except Republican politicians.